In this video, we're going to look at how we can use Mail Merge to help us label envelopes from a numbers spreadsheet. We're going to primarily look at this on the Mac, but I'll also show you how you can do it on the iPad and iPhone. Let's see how we can create a Mail Merge document for envelopes from a numbers spreadsheet. Let's go to my Mac. So I'm looking at my Mac here. Let's first look at how we set up the numbers spreadsheet. So I go down to my Mac here. I have numbers. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now what we're going to do is create a new document. From here, what we're going to do is create a blank document. We're just going to set this up from scratch. So I double click on it. We have my blank numbers document. Now what I need to do is get rid of this first column. We do not have to have a header column here. So now I go over to my format, and then when we're looking at our format, we have headers and footer. I just go and select zero here. We no longer have my header column. Now what I need to do is I need to create my header rows. So I'm going to go with full name here, and then we need to have our street, the state, oops, city. We need a city in there. And then we go state, and zip. Those are going to be my five fields that I'm going to use for my mailing labels. So I no longer need to have these two columns here. So let's go ahead and make that smaller. So that's our initial setup. Now what I need to do is just go and fill this data in. Well, I have it in my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it here. But as we can see, what we have here is the full name. I also have the street. I have the city and state. And then I have the zip. So now my number spreadsheet is all set up. Let's go ahead and save this. We're going to save this to my desktop. So I just go addresses. If I was on the iPad or iPhone, I would be setting it up the same way. Just open up numbers, delete that first column header, and then add in your different fields. So now I can quit out of numbers. We have it set up here. Now what I need to do is open up pages. So I go down to pages here. And then what we're going to do is create a new document, a new envelope document. So I click on new document down towards the bottom here. What we have are envelopes. This is the one that I want to use, the classic envelope. So I double click on it. Let's go ahead and make this window a little bit larger. So now what we need to do is use pages mail merge. Where do we find that? Well, if we go over to document here, what you're going to see is mail merge. Now, if you do not see this, that means that you do not have the latest version of Pages. So what you'll want to do is go over to the App Store and make sure that you update to the latest version of Pages. When you have the latest version, you'll see mail merge. Now, how does this work? How do we merge this with my numbers document? Well, it's pretty simple. I first click on it. And then what you're going to see is I have my fields here. So this is who it is coming from, myself, and this is who it is going to. So I want the sender, myself, to be the same on all of the envelopes. You're going to see that it is green. When we go over to my mail merge here, you can see that it's set up as the sender. So this address here is not going to change. That's what I want. Perfect. Now what I need to do is I need to map these to my numbers document. So how do we do that? If we look here, you're going to see we have address. I have that all separated out. I don't have it as a single field. I have a street field, I have a city field, I have a zip field, I have a state field. How do I go and add that in here? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to delete this. We're not going to use this field. So I just control click on it and then we delete it. Now what I need to do is I need to remap these fields here, this text, to my numbers document. So how do we do that? Well, I just select my first line here. This is the street. So we can see that it is selected. Now I just go down to Add Merge Field, and then when we go to More Fields, you're going to see Address. I go over to Home, and then we have Street. So I select Street. We have to do this again for the city. So I have it selected here. We go down to Add Merge Field. We go over to More Fields, Address, Home, City. We're going to do this a couple more times. State, more fields, address, home, state, and then we go over to zip. 
more fields, address, home, zip. So now this is all set up to be mapped to my number spreadsheet. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do from here is just go over to merge. And then instead of contacts, what we do is we go over to spreadsheet. When I select spreadsheet, you're going to see that I have my addresses here. This is on my desktop. So now all I do is just double click on this. And from here, I just need to map my columns over to the fields here. So I have a column for full name. All I have to do is just select that column and map it over to full name. We go over to street here. This is in my envelope. I need to map this to my street and my spreadsheet. So basically I'm just mapping these. We go to city, we go to state, and then our last one here, zip, I need to map to zip. So now all of this is mapped up. If I want to preview it, to double check it, I click on preview here. And now we can see my first record here. I can click on the arrow to go to my second record. Everything looks all right. It's mapping the city with the city. We have my street with the street. I have my zip with the zip. So everything's looking right here. Now all I need to do is just click on close and then I click on merge. And it is now merging those and you're going to see I have my different names in here while the sender is all the same. So it's pulling this data from that spreadsheet that we created and then merge it into this envelope. All I have to do is just hit print, put envelopes into my printer and it'll print those. It'll mail merge my numbers document with my envelope. Let's take a quick look at how this works on the iPad. So we're going to go to my iPad here. And the first thing we need to do is go into numbers here. And I'm going to open up. Let's go to my desktop here. We're going to open up my addresses here. This is one that I created on the Mac. So we can see that everything is all set up properly. If I need to change something, I can click on edit. I can go and add a new name. I could even go and add more fields if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave it the same. My spreadsheet is all set up. Now what I need to do is I need to go to pages and then we just go and create a new label here or a new envelope. I just swipe up until I find classic envelope or the envelope that you have. We have my envelope here. I go up to the three dots. You're going to see mail merge. And again, I have my different fields. What I need to do is remove this one and then I just select what I want my first field to be here. We have it selected. I go up to the three dots. We go to mail merge. And then I tap on the plus. We go to more fields, address, home, and then we go to street. So now that first line is mapped to street. I would do the same thing for city, state, and zip. And once I have that all set, we just go back over to Mail Merge, tap on Merge. I go to my spreadsheet. And then what we do is we go over to my desktop where my addresses are. And from here, what I'm able to do is map. Oops, full name goes to full name. I'm able to map my fields. Once I have it all set, I just tap on Merge and it'll merge those together. Let's take a look at this on the iPhone. So I go over to numbers here again. We can see that I have my addresses all set. It's downloading it. Now we have my address all set. I can go and make any changes in here. Once I make the changes, I close it. And then we go over to pages. I'm going to create a new document, choose a template. We're going to go to my mail or my envelope. From here, I go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner. You're going to see mail merge. I need to remove the address because that is not formatted properly. I have the address all separated out by street, city, state, and zip. And now what I need to do is go and select the first field. I have it selected. I go to the three dots. We go over to Mail Merge. I tap on the plus in the upper right hand corner. 
And this is more fields, address, and it is street. Tap on done. I can select any town. We're going to go to mail merge. Tap on the plus, more fields, address, and then we go over to city. And now the city is mapped. Now I want to merge these together. Let's say I merged them all together or mapped them all. I just go to Mail Merge, tap on Merge. I go over to Spreadsheet. I select my spreadsheet. And again, what I'm able to do is map my columns to the fields in my Pages document. So I just go and finish this. And once I'm done, I just tap on Merge. And it is merging those together. Now I'm able to put my envelopes in a printer and print those out from my iPhone. So that's how we use mail merges to print envelopes from a number spreadsheet on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.